Oh no. Well, look who crawled out of an economy class airplane toilet. Get him. Why is it the first thing Damien does when we see him for the first time since the beginning is be disrespectful, bro? Didn't I? Look at that backdrop, bro. That's what I'm talking about. The background art is so clean. The night was as clear as could be. A light breeze made it just a bit chilly, but not enough that I need to put on more. I found myself fixating on the moon without thinking. I thought I'd find you here. Cat, cat, come join me. You're now joining me in the chill hours. The night hours. The hours of peace and relaxation. Who knew that three dates were all you needed to figure out if a marriage would last? It's not. If this TV gig doesn't work out, maybe I should become a marriage counselor. Hmm. Anyway, I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got to get some work done tonight to prep for the ending of the show. You know what? I could use some company. It's not like you were up to anything, cat. Groovy, baby. Only invite me up there with you. If you're trying to break me off a bit. We in a library. Now you're probably wondering, why did I bring you here of all places? You like to read? Well, yes, but no. There's no internet for us goons, so here's where we store most of our information. Records of every single run of the show. Building and security details, guard schedules, and most importantly, salary records. It's hidden in plain sight as regular books. Well, you see, I have this lovely chair and table here that I do so love to work on. And it's truly, truly exhausting for me to get out from this lovely arrangement to have to fetch each book I need to reference. So, you want me to grab your books for you so you can just stay here? I'm so glad you understand. And you know, I'm doing everything I can to keep you alive. And it's just a teeny tiny favor. I couldn't help but laugh at her mock pout. Sure, cat. It's the least I could do. Great. All right. To start, I need to grab me the Princess of Alvaranda. I feel like I butchered that. A few moments later. And that's a wrap. Thanks for the help, funny. I'll send you a thank you card for when you're off this island or something. At that rate, that was pretty much slave labor. I like to think of it as more of unpaid charity work. You've got one last date tomorrow. Don't mess it up. I'm curious, what's the first thing you're going to do when you're out of here? Honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe try to figure out what my life was before. Who knows? Well, I got to get back to editing. Night, funny. I see you, cat. Guess I'll head back to my room and call it a night. Hey. Hey. Listen to the ball. The alarms were deafening. We planned for every possibility we could, but it wasn't enough. Damn! We made it to the ship, but it still wasn't enough. Our one saving grace, the ship, wouldn't start. Someone tampered with it, and there's no time to fix it. That's... that's it then. I couldn't find the words to say. I love you. I wish we could have met anywhere but here. She held me in her arms with the last of her strength. All that's left to do is wait. Goodbye, love. Oh, shh. Oh, woo. Woo. Wasn't ready for it. Wasn't ready for it. Here's the thing. If that person was the soulmate that I had, that we've, um, that I had the final day and proposed and all that good stuff, got married, if that's who that was, and the show was over, why would they not let us leave? But then Damien said earlier that he cut off internet so spoilers wouldn't get out. But also, if you win the game and you leave, it's not like he's just gonna let you go around telling people, oh, I was kidnapped and put on this island. And basically, you know, if I didn't get a girl, they would kill me. You know, and stuff like that. Like, so I don't know how he would handle that. That's why I feel like he grabs people. Who knows how many times we've done this game over and over again, bruh. It's probably like the fifth season with the same people. 
Oh no. Well, look who crawled out of an economy class airplane toilet. Get him. Why is it the first thing Damien does when we see him for the first time since the beginning? Is be disrespectful, bro. Come on, Shun. I'm doing you a favor. Good morning to you too, Damien. Funny. Don't mind my er don't mind him. Hold on, cat. Who, what's, what's the relationship between y'all? What's going on here? Damien was just telling me the news. Your ratings are doing really well so far. At this rate, I really think you'll make it out of here. That's great news. I wouldn't celebrate just yet. Just because you've done well till now doesn't mean you won't jump the shark today. Your ratings today need to be higher than they've ever been or you'll get axed. Acts literally if I'm around when your number is up. I guess we'll find that out together, won't we? Later. Hey, yo, cat, talk to your mans. Why are you tripping like that? Oh, Danny Phantom head ass. Sorry about him. He can be a little mean sometimes. A murder threat is a little mean. Anyway, you ready for your last date with Scarlet? It's just this last date, then tomorrow it'll be the final ceremony. I'm ready as I'll ever be. Fantastic. Then we'll start filming right away. Good luck, funny. You'll need it. Come on, Scarlet. We we'll just get it, bro. I missed you, Scarlet, and that's real. I found Scarlet in the same place I met her. She was engrossed in a book with a pile of books next to her. They looked worn as if they'd been read over and over through the years. Hey there, Scarlet, what you reading? Hi, huh, funny. Just an old fairy tale. Really? I'm surprised you read something that would throw science out of the window. I'm a woman of very taste. I dig it. I quite like these stories, especially this one. Which one are you reading? It's called The Princess of Other... Isn't that the one that, um, that cat just took? Ooh! There's a young girl, Nera, who was the princess of the Kingdom of Avaranda, which was far, far away from civilization. Nera has a blissfully happy childhood. She even falls in love with the commoner named Aloria. Though her kingdom would never approve of their relationship, Nera and Eloria never fail to see each other in secret, every night by the crooked trees in the western forest. But those days don't last. One day, her mother, the queen, is taken by a witch, never to be seen again, and Nera is forced to become a queen at the age of 16. Bro, this music is like really popping off in the background. In her mother's absence, Nera does her best to lead the kingdom and for years it prospers. She's like no other leader they've had before. But secretly, she wants to leave. As queen, she has no more time for the things or people that she loved with all her heart. Then one day, Nera is cursed by the same witch that took her mother and forgets everything. Her name, her family, her kingdom. And so she leaves, and no one in the village ever sees her again. I won't bore you with the rest of the story, but thanks for listening till now. Oh, come on. Believe me, Scar. Mm. In anger, Nera confronts the witch on the border of Avaranda. The witch takes off her cow, revealing herself to be Nera's mother, the Lost Queen. Whoa, that's a twist and a half, ain't it? So the mother faked gone missing, you know, disguised herself as the witch. Nera's mother gives her an ultimatum. She can return to ruling the kingdom, but she can never leave again, or she can leave now and never come back. And that's where the story ends. You never get to know what choice Nera makes. I'm curious, what would you do in Nera's shoes? So it's like, you either stay in rule, but can never leave, or you leave, 
and never come back. But here's my th the thing is, like, it's not like she left the village because she was unhappy and was like, I, I have to see what the rest of the world is like. She had no memories. Like, she would have stayed there and lived in the village with her people because that's, you know, what her life was, what it was supposed to be. So, yeah, stay. Oh, but wait a minute now. Never being able to leave. I'd stay in the kingdom. Like, in her position, like, she left but then had the urge to come back. Like, leaving, like, she can stay and rule. But who knows what the witch has done? You know, she probably tried to stay and rule and she probably made the people assholes but as the queen it's her duty to stay though like it's her duty as the queen she would have to stay in the kingdom i think i'd stay why is that i mean i can't just let my people suffer like that but i would never let aloria go i'd find a way to make it work you're a real romantic aren't you i've loved this story ever since i lost my memories I'm sure I don't have a kingdom or anything, but sometimes you wonder, you know? Yeah, I get the same feeling too. That's just life, you know? You just have to keep moving forward. Yeah, you're right. I'm really happy you're the one I get to move forward with, buddy. <laughs> Me too, Scarlet. There's no one else I'd rather be with right here, right now. And speaking of right now, there's somewhere I want to bring you. Where's that? I give you a hint. I've been thinking about this place ever since you mentioned that you love fairy tales. Oh, look at this. What? 